Hey, welcome to video number five of building my house in Costa Rica. You'll notice I changed my background. Uh, this is a, a picture I took when I lived in Toronto and uh, I took it off the balcony of my condo. And in the morning of one day, I think it's the coolest thing ever because you got the sun behind the CN Tower. This is the CN Tower here, the sun behind it, and there's a cloud in front of it. And you got the shadow of the CN Tower on the cloud, which kind of makes it look bent. So it looks like the scene tower it goes up and it kind of bends and then they got this kind of a line over here too a little bit. So I think it's the coolest thing ever. Like a bent scene tower. <laughs> okay, so anyway, uh, last time I left off was October 17th. I we're going to go dive right in and show you what's new. So on October 22nd, uh, I'll just show you some pictures. Uh, let's see here, what's new? Uh, well, the uh, last time you guys were making the... Um, this uh, smoothed uh, polished concrete it was it was too polished so it's a little better and uh, they're working on the kitchen at that time uh, this is uh, oh they did the uh, that's the lookout of the skylight this is the loft they did the staining of the wood this is teak wood so that's stained and it looks pretty good that looks really good I really like that um, okay they were gonna put a ladder here this is the loft they were gonna put a ladder up here but they did something kind of uh i told the guy i told the builder don't spend extra money buying a ladder or building one yet we'll go find something but i'm sure we can leave it as a low priority we'll figure out a way to get there later and he kind of surprised me with something else and i'll show you soon so here's the kitchen kitchen's all painted and getting ready for cabinets uh, we're going to put a like a track style lighting up here four lights there's the loft again, looking down. Uh, here's the loft again, looking down into the bedroom. We're not going to put, a, we have a railing on the right, but we're not going to bother putting a railing over here. It's just, it, it'll clash with the roof and it's just too much work. So uh, I've got, uh, oh yeah, one more thing, but let's see. There is stained glass. Okay, let's see here. This is the, you can, this little part right here, there's going to be a stained glass window right here and a stained glass window uh, right there like a big long stained glass window for the bedroom and one for uh, for here. So we're going to do like a Pura Vida kind of a stained glass message on this window here. And uh, the other window, the bedroom window will have sort of like a themed thing of my history and the companies I worked with and logos and stuff. And, and a, a third one will have like a sunny beach scene. I'll show you those. But anyway, this is the one that's going up first. It should say Pura Vida. <laughs> and this is the one that's this is the beach scene so we got a, uh, this is just a sketch right now but we'll see the final thing later on okay October 23rd bathroom got the walls done looks nice uh, there's the walls and there's a the flooring done a uh, vanity is going uh, wait a minute I think uh, yeah shower here I think the toilet goes here I guess or I don't know I'm not sure anyway there's the shower thing. This is the shower kit that I shipped from Canada when I came, we came there in September. Uh, I asked for these little shelves and they did a nice job there. So that is the vanity sink, I guess. Here's the kitchen area. So the same tile in the bathroom and the kitchen for the floor. Yeah, uh, there's the concrete floor for the rest of the house and there's the kitchen area. Okay, October 27th, four days later. Okay, so now, okay, so um, so this is the, the ki this is the floor uh, unstained, and here it is stained. So it uh, it looks kind of dirty and dusty right now, but that's okay. So here's another picture of it there. So look, see, it's uh, it's kind of stained, kind of browny, orangey, kind of. And they did the outside too. So this is polished, and the outside is more crinkly. And uh, there you go. There's a nice shot of the outside all polished and stained. Okay. Looks pretty good. I liked the color. Uh, here you can't really see the color much, and it looks like it's overcast, and I see some rain. But uh, uh, this angle here, it doesn't look very bright either, but there's the inside and there's the outside. Okay, there you go. That's what I like. See, this is the exact color that I was looking for. Uh, that was the goal. I really wanted this kind of an outside patio color. Okay, so there's the interior and there's the bathroom. There you go. I, yeah, I really, really like that color. That's exactly what I wanted. And I got it. 
So there's a stained glass window going there. That's the Pura Vida sign. Here's inside. That's my bedroom closet with some lighting. There's the loft up there. We were going to put a ladder there. I'll show you this in a little bit what ha what they ended up doing. Okay. Yeah, I really like that color. I think that's really cool. It's called stained and stamped concrete. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's the rounded part. Bedroom over here. Yeah, there's the inside. There's the outside. Okay. Looks good. I'm gonna put a lamp right here. There's the kitchen. Okay, the inside and the kitchen. And there's a fridge and stuff is going there. Here's the stain. Okay, so here is uh yeah, so let's see. What happened was uh so it looks like on October 22nd we had the design for this and October so like one week later roughly it took about a week to go from design to this and uh, got turtles and starfish and a palm tree and a crab and this is a piece of glass that the uh, artist added that she found somewhere it's just kind of weird but looks nice I guess just leave it there but uh, yeah it looks pretty good that'll go in the kitchen there's another angle I think this will look really nice in the sunlight and this is the design for stained glass window number three for the bedroom. So this is just like a hexagon colors on the side. This is a logo for a company that I, I started at when I first got out of school. And I used to I, I used to make Windows apps when I was like in the late 90s. And I worked at Microsoft for a while, so I wanted the Windows logo. And I, I worked at Apple for a while. And I make iPhone apps now, so I wanted the Apple logo. And I worked at America Online for a while, so I wanted the AOL logo. And the butterfly is a, an homage to a friend of mine in Toronto. Uh, she's awesome. And a couple of no frills bears that I collect. I collect these little guys, and these are some teddy bears that uh, I have had for about 25 or 27 years. And this is Stevie Nicks, who I'm kind of a fan of, so I wanted to have a little homage to her. I wanted to, we had a bunch of designs for, for her, but uh, the artist wouldn't do anything too complicated. So she kind of pushed back on any of the complicated things I wanted. But we settled on this. And this one is going to get painted instead of stained glass. So I don't buy someone else. All right, so uh, November 9th, we start on the basement. Yeah, look at this. So first step is do the concrete basement. And uh, yeah, they got to do, <laughs> it's a lot of work. It's a huge basement. So, yeah, here it is. Pouring all that cement. That's a big job. So, there's no stairs at this point, but uh, they actually, uh, there will be, there are stairs now as I record this. You, you're not going to believe what they did for the stairs. They actually built the stairs themselves. There's some plumbing. So, I'm going to have like a laundry. Okay, so wait a minute. Um, so in the far corner over here, there's going to be a laundry room and uh, like a bathroom. So I'm going to put all the plumbing and stuff along the back and a little bit of a kitchen over here. So they started with the plumbing. And uh, okay, here we are. This is a couple of pictures that a neighbor took. So, uh, yeah, okay, so uh, we've got uh, bedroom number three right here. Okay, wait, so bedroom number one is going up here. Bedroom two is going here, these two, from this, these two poles. And bedroom number three is going here. And in the corner will be the bathroom and the laundry room. So, oh, uh, and this, so this space, this space, and this space, this, these three sections will be like a window wall, a sliding glass window wall. Uh, some again these are all neighbor photos looks like I got some nice trim along here that's good there's the steps look there's a preview of some stairs going down look they actually built these stairs themselves my builder actually built them okay uh, there's this basement okay and there look at this there's a preview here he actually built spiral staircase like by hand like using the tools they had on site and some parts. They actually built all the stairs. Can't believe it. Really impressed. I told him, you know, just, you know, that's that's a low priority. We'll worry about that later. But no, I guess he had time or 
I guess he's got the skills to make his own stairs. So, uh, yeah, nice job. Look at this. Look at this. Now, this, these planks of wood are going to get cut and store, uh, and placed inside here. I guess they'll get stained and cut and just placed in there and fastened in. But can you imagine making... How much time went into making this? I guess he couldn't find stairs anywhere. He had to build them. Like, absolutely amazing. And here's stairs here going down. So I'm really amazed. I don't know if that's rebar or what that is, but how do you bend that and make it look so nice? Wow, good job. Okay, anyway, uh, here's my little <laughs> here's my little poles that I shipped from Canada. It looks like this lamp is a bit lopsided. I'm gonna, gonna have to go fix that. Oh, look up here. See, the there's a cement mixer. This is work starting on the tower. I'll show you some pictures of that soon. There's the bathroom. Uh, oh, the vanity. We're going to put a big mirror here. I sent um, a mirror from Costco that I that I bought. And uh, I guess that'll be electric plugs. So, yeah. And, oh, yeah, we have kitchen. Look, they've started on the kitchen. They've actually... They're actually building this themselves. Uh, I think they bought this and they bought the handles, of course, but they're uh, they're actually building this. I'm, I'm amazed. I'm so amazed. That's my uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, pantry. All right. Here is. Oh yeah. Uh, so here is the stained glass window number three done almost. Uh, uh, I'm not happy with the Windows logo. This white part should probably be brown and black. I wanted to have, because it's a background, I wanted it to have like a like a brown bottom and a blue dark blue top. So they did that. So that's good. These no frills bears are like they look okay. They're a bit too big. I think they should be smaller. But these guys look okay. I'm glad they have a blue scarf, which is what I needed. This guy doesn't seem to have a blue scarf, but he should. Uh, I don't like this white, and I'm not crazy about this white in here either. But um, and it looks like this is not. This will be painted, so it's in progress. There's my uh, what do you call it? Pantry for the kitchen. Okay, here you go. Here is bedroom number two. Now they made a mistake. They uh, <laughs> they they put this wall in here, but this wall is supposed to be moved over to here. So between these two posts, so. Bedroom two is going to be huge. It's going to go from here to here. Uh, all right. So a little bit of a mistake, but it didn't cost anything. They didn't destroy anything. They just had to move this wall over over here. I think he was using an old diagram. He said, so uh, no big deal. So there's one of my worker guys. There's the stairs. Look at the stairs. They actually built these. Wow, amazing. Okay. Uh, yeah. Look. And they look also kind of hollow. I'm guessing they're going to put... Well, they're not going to use wood. They're going to use a uh, ceramic tile or something for these steps. So I now have... Yeah, look, there's the concrete bit floor. We're going to leave this concrete for a while because it's so big. It's going to be really expensive to find a nice flooring for it. I told them to just put in a floor for uh, bedroom number two, which goes from... Uh, it goes up to this pole. This whole part is bedroom number two. Okay, and there's bathroom and kitchen. Looks like kitchen and is start. I mean, uh, bathroom is starting over there. Uh, kitchen will be right here where this plug is. Or actually, uh, no, it'll go here. Yeah, kitchen goes roughly about here to here. And uh, let's see here. Here's oh, here's bedroom number three. Uh, I told, again, he made a bit of a mistake. This wall should not be here. I want to have a semi-permanent wall or a sliding wall or some kind of a barn door kit thing instead. Uh, I want to have a closet over here and I want to have this part completely open. So he put a wall in there by mistake. Yeah, look, these two walls, these two things are uh, should not be there. And they're gone now. Uh, this is part of my walk-in closet. <laughs> so big. We call it the big-ass closet. And uh, we're going to put this part here from this pole to this pole. So this whole section here will be a storage room for gardening equipment, car stuff, you know, um, just uh, boxes of stuff, storage, you know, just for storage. But this will be a closet for clothes and things. 
Okay, what is this? Uh, here's bedroom number two, but again, it's wrong size. It's, uh, this wall is gone. It's actually bedroom number two is that whole quadrant plus this. So, and also that door is moved over to here. There's uh, the upstairs. There's my kitchen area looking nice. I thought they were going to put, sh I like this. I like the shelves here. Uh, this was a bit of a surprise. I didn't know that they were going to do this, but that's okay. I don't really mind. I got enough cabinetry space, and I actually kind of like this. So, yeah, okay. Dishwasher goes here. Uh, fridge will go here, I guess. So, yeah. okay. So, no, okay. Okay, almost done. December 12, 2. So, the work has started on the tower. Um, it's, uh, I think, 20 feet by 20 feet base. And uh, there's the base, and there's the base kind of filled in now. We're going to put a toilet over here, a kitchen over here. It's going to have an outdoor shower over here. This is looking west. We're going to have uh, the door is going to be over here, just one simple door. You got a little window here, a little window here, and a little window on the here. So there's the base of it. And uh, I don't remember how far this goes down, but it's it goes down really far, like a four or five feet. So it's going to be a really strong base. And that's it. That's all I have for now. I'll make another video probably around Christmas time, I guess, before the guys go on holidays. All right. Thanks a lot.